Hey guys, welcome back, it's Lynx. Today we're talking about branding versus being yourself and the pros and cons of these things. My experience with keeping up this branded image versus what I'm doing now, which is sort of just being being myself on the internet. After you watch this video, I'd love to hear your own experience in dealing with this sort of thing. I know this is something that artists ponder about. It's reflected in their releases and their music and their social media and their images, their videos. There's a lot that this affects. So I'd love to hear your experience with this and what you prefer to do. In my experience, I started off making music quite young. Basically all of my Sarah Kendall career if you guys don't know, I used to go under my legal name, Sarah Kendall, before I switched my name to Lynx in 2020. I was making a very similar type of music. It was dark, it was brooding and sad, very depressing music. That wasn't because I was trying to be a depressed person at, in any sense. That is the way I felt at the time. My first song, Patient Hand, to my Comply EP, all of those songs were very sad, very slow burning, and very dark. I felt as though I created this world that I was in at the time, and it just made a lot of sense. All my visuals, like the Love You More video, the Comply music video, and Fantasies music video, I've always been drawn to, you know, Victorian, 1800s, Art Nouveau, artistry. I was, like, creating this mysterious, dark, persona that I felt eventually that I was kind of stuck with. I wouldn't have dared, dared to release something like There You Go and make a DIY Spyro music video for it when I was going to Sarah Kendall. After releasing something like Comply, it's like, huh? Like, who are you? I was quite limited in what I was doing because all I did was release sad, dark visuals to go along with it. I felt like that's the only thing I could do and that I would like get hate if I showed more of my actual personality or like who I was. It's kind of scary you know or at the time I was afraid I feel so much better about what I'm putting out into the world and how I am portraying myself with the music and then the artistry being transparent and honest and way more real has worked wonders and, and done so much more for me than keeping up this kind of mysterious persona ever could have. I'm really grateful for that growth on my part. It could be different for everyone else. I'm 100% not as sad as I was when I was in like college and before. I've grown a lot as a person, experimenting a ton with the music that I'm making. It feels good. It feels good to be like showing so much more of myself than I ever did when I released a very similar type of music all the time. It feels so good to be sharing who I truly am with you on a consistent basis on my YouTube channel. It's made me appreciate this experience so much more and I feel so much more connected to you by doing this and just being honest and transparent about what being a musician is. You know, it's not just like the end product. The reality is this. I'm just I'm just here in my mom's house right now in Massachusetts and that's that's where I'm at right now. I feel like I have nothing to hide. You know, also during that time, I felt like I was overthinking absolutely everything. Even just like a tweet or like a post, I felt like it had to be dark and it had to be moody and it had to have this like underlying meaning. It doesn't. Ever since I've kind of let go of like all this pressure that I put on myself, things have felt a little lighter. So much less complicated than it needs to be. I'm doing a lot of things DIY and now that I'm producing my music as well, I have full control. Feel free to disagree with me too. I would love to hear what you guys think because I know that there's a lot of pros to having a brand as well. Different artists that you like, you like them, chances are because of that. Like you know what you're gonna hear from them, you know what their vibe is, and as long as they're okay with that, you know, I think that's great. I do like brand myself in certain ways, but it's nothing like how I used to do it. If you're a musician and you're kind of struggling with this or like trying to figure out how to go about branding yourself, Know from someone with experience doing both things that it doesn't have to be as complicated as you think. If you want to just be you, be you. Because people are going to love that. They're going to love your personality. I think that human connection is a really important part of what we're doing here as uh, artists.
If you've been following me since like the Sarah Kendall days, thank you for sticking with me in all of this change. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I think it's really good to fluctuate and like stretch your limbs and to try different things and to just feel lighter about what you do because with all this pressure on the outside coming in, you really don't need to add to that by adding that internalized pressure on yourself. And that's something that I've totally struggled with in the past a lot. And I still do in different ways, but at least I'm letting go of any sort of fear about changing up my sound and showing more of who I truly am. At the end of the day, you are you. That's it. You're just like, you know, the blob on earth fooling around on this planet for a while. Ah, I don't know. I used to mostly spend all my time writing lyrics and that was the main part of what I felt as though I could contribute. Super vulnerable lyrics that would just like cut into your soul. Like I wanted to just like cut people in half, you know, with, with the lyrics and the storytelling. And that's what I focused on for all the time I was at Berkeley and before the music kind of was second to that in a weird way. Now that I'm producing and stuff, I feel like I'm spending so much more time on the melody writing and on the whole atmosphere itself. And it's providing a new perspective for me. Lyrics I'll put in last is also a really cool workflow. So I'm experimenting with different workflows. The next song Alive will be out January 1st. Like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on my videos. I am posting every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you next week. Thanks for watching and comment below what you think.